I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a question from my student. The question here is, the sum of squares of two consecutive integers is 685. What could the integers be? Now these are the word problems which sometimes are tricky. Let's try to understand a few terms here. One of them is consecutive integers. That really means that if one integer is x, the other one is one more than that. So it is x plus 1. So these are examples of consecutive integers. Do you understand that part? Now I think it's simpler to form an equation. You can always pause my video, write down the equation, solve, check the answer, right? Now let's get back to the question. It says the sum of squares of two consecutive integers. That means squares of these, x squared plus sum means plus, right? Square of this is 685. We need to find what these integers are. Now it becomes simpler, right? So definitely, you can anytime pause and answer. And go at the end just to check your solution, right? So let's solve this now. It's a quadratic function. Let's apply the techniques learned. So we'll open this up. So we have x squared plus, when you open this up, you get x squared plus 2x plus 1 equals to 685. Bringing 685 to the left, combine these two terms, 2x squared plus 2x. Bringing this here, we get minus 685 equals to 0. Combining again, 2x squared plus 2x minus 684 equals 0. You can divide by 2, right? So you get x squared plus, plus x minus half of this, 3, 42 equal to 0. Now at this stage, you could use uh, product and sum, or you could use quadratic formula, right? Factor and solve, or use quadratic formula. So the quadratic formula will be of this form. You can say x equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. And product and sum method could be, you're looking for a product of minus 342 and sum of 1. Correct. So that means these two numbers are very close, very, very close. Very close numbers you can always get by kind of square root, right? So if I do square root of 3, 4, 2 and approximate this to a decimal place, it is somewhere between 18, 19. Do you see that? So 18.5 I get. So so you're looking for two numbers which are which are kind of consecutive integers, right? 18 and 19 works for you because then you get 8 times 9 is 72, right? So try these numbers. Uh, now, one of them has to be negative. The positive one is bigger number. So we'll do 19 and uh, we'll do minus 18. Do you see that? Okay, let's multiply 18 and 19. So we get 18 times 19 is 342. Perfect. I hope you loved this idea of finding the two numbers for this, right? So using this method, I'm using product and sum, we could write this in factored form as x plus 19 times x minus 18 equal to 0, okay? So we get factored form. Let me rewrite this here. We have x plus 19 times x minus 18 equal to 0. What could the integers be? Now, integers could be negative or positive. Is that okay? So let's find all possible solutions. So let's begin by taking x equals to minus x equals to minus 19. Then the consecutive number will be, the other one will be plus the positive, right? We need positive results. So both same signs. So negative 18, right? So, so those two could be the solution. Or if you take this, x could be equals to plus 18. In that case, the other number will be 18 plus 1, which is 19. Do you see that? So these are the two numbers. So we get solution here. Let me write down answer here. So one combination could be minus 19 and minus 18. The other combination could be 18 and 19. So that is the solution for the given question. 
So don't forget to write both possible solutions since we are talking about integers and the word what could all possible that means all possible is it okay i hope that helps i'm anil kumar you can always share and subscribe to my videos feel free to post questions like this and share your views thank you and all the best